back at Talladega, the world's fastest speedway for the Winston 500 Winston Cup race. There's the leader, number 28, Davy Allison. The next two cars are not on the lead lap. They are Morgan Shepard and Harry Gant, but now Shepard tries to get the lap back as he heads for the high banking 33 degrees. Second place is Mark Martin. The lap leaders in this race have been Neil Bonnet, Davy Allison, Darrell Waldrop, Dale Earnhardt, Rusty Wallace. Also, Ken Schrader and Morgan Shepard. Now, we have only lost three cars, two by, a, by a mechanical problems, namely Jimmy Means and Eddie Beerschwale. Dale Jarrett came in contact with the wall in turn number four after cutting a tire. He's okay. We have 38 cars remaining on the racetrack. And some of them in heavy traffic. Here comes Dale Earnhardt and Kenny Schrader. They had gotten behind that lead group when they went through all of that traffic a few laps ago, but now they've hooked up together and caught them back. Average speed of the race at the end of 80 laps, 177.99 miles an hour. Look at Mark Martin up on the high side. He don't want to give that spot up. He Earnhardt just don't want to. Earnhardt and Schrader right there trying to take the spot away from him, though. And there, that car in the back is Bob Whitman's car, driven by Derry Colt, sponsored by Pure Later. It's good to see Bob back. And Rick Wilson has come in for a pit stop, an unscheduled stop. They go to work on the right side, or is it an unscheduled stop? Well, it would be pretty close to, to regular pit stop time. Won't be too far away. We'll see more of them coming in. You can see one mechanic making a huge chassis adjustment to the left rear of that car. He was screwing down on which meant the car was loose. He was putting more weight on that left rear wheel. He has his service headed back out. You see, that's one thing. When they use the restrictor plates, the fellas want to leave that rear spoiler, the black thing on the rear deck of Rick Wilson's car. They want to lay it down just as much as they possibly can, and therefore, to adjust the chassis, they're having to do it with the wrenches, as we saw that fellow screwing like crazy on that left rear wrench. Davy Allison running by himself now in the lead. He's got two cars with him, but they are not in the same lap. And here is Neil Bonnet. Jerry Punch is there to call this stop. Well, the Wood Brothers, one of the best on pit road for a long, long time. Won't be gone the Sitco Ford for Neil Bonnet. He is getting right side tires, one can of fuel. They are changing the right side tires. 54-year-old Leonard Wood, one of the quickest 54-year-old tire changers in the business, working on that car. They whip around that air hose. He is down and away. Good pit stop for Neil Bonnet. Most of the cars, gentlemen, will be coming in in the next two laps. They are waiting for Earnhardt. They are waiting for Darrell Waltrip and many others to come in. It has been roughly 46 laps at their last gas stop. That's about 123 miles. That's about as far as they want to stretch it this early here in the afternoon. We have not seen big tire problems in this race, as we have seen many times on the Winston Cup Trail so far in 1989, and that is certainly something very good to see. Yeah, it was good not to... Here comes Dale Earnhardt into the pits now. It's good that, that we didn't have a uh, tire problem at the top of the show. Jerry Punch. Dale Earnhardt brings the good race Chevrolet Luma down the pit road. They will change right side tires. They want to get him in and out. It's very important to get him back up front. They're concerned, not with this pit stop, but they jack some weight in the right side of the car, the right rear. They beat a little smaller up just a little bit. 14.7 seconds. He's down and away, but the reason they wanted a good pit stop here, we're just eight laps away from a $10,000 lap here at Talladega, and Earnhardt wants to be out front when everybody else pits so he can leave that lap. Gentlemen? Earnhardt goes back on the track. He has to move across that blend line to pass Ron Esau, the number 18 car, but now Dale gets back down on the inside of the racetrack, and here comes the leader, Davey Allison, in for a stop. Jack Aroot will call the pit stop by the leader. Jack. Davey Allison's crew waiting for Davey to come down. He goes to work. They're getting set, and they are now going to go to work. Robert Yates and his team go to the right side. They'll be changing right side tires and taking on fuel. Now, they've already begun to do fuel calculations, and their concern was if they could go enough to be able to go the distance. They are going to have to make one more stop because they figured they'll be 13 laps short of the distance. They pull them away. It's a very quick stop for Davey Allison. Well, also having made pit stops are Phil Parsons, Kyle Petty, Dick Trickle, and Alan Kowicki. I see Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott just made a pit stop. He's coming out. Brent Budine coming out of the pit. So, as they mentioned in the pits, practically everybody coming in here in the next couple of laps. Greg Sachs going out. So is Michael Walker. Greg and Sachs ran out of fuel because I saw his crew pushing him down pit road. So, here's Rusty Wallace coming in. We ride with him as he stops in his pit area, and Jack Aroot is there. 
Barry Dotson swinging the jack around to the right side as they go to work to take on right side Goodyear tires. They're filling up the fuel and also taking a look as Harold Elliott to the front of the car. He cleans it off, and they've still got the jack up. They've completed the action on changing the tires, but taking on as much fuel as they can. He puts it back in gear in 14.2 seconds, and Wallace is away. Nice stop by Rusty Wallace as there is Phil Barkdahl passing him going out of the pits. And the number 27 Kodiak Pontiac builds up speed, headed for turn number one. Well, he'll try to stay right with Phil Barkdahl. He has a pretty fast car. Here comes Ken Schrader into the pits. And uh, in case Rusty can't catch somebody else as he goes, gets back up on the racetrack, well, Barkdahl will suffice to draft with until others come along. Okay, let's go to the pits now as Ken Schrader makes a pit stop. Kenny Schrader hits the binders nicely. The Lumina comes to rest in front of his pits. The crew goes to work. Dennis Connor pumping on the jack. Going to work, making the exchange of right side tires. And they, too, are going to add some wedge to this Lumina. Now, the Lumina drivers have got a little bit of a disadvantage because they don't have a lot of race conditions activity behind underneath their belt. Schrader is off and away, and he has made an adjustment on the handling department as well as taking on fuel. And now, with the crew cam, here's a stop by Darrell Waltrip. They got those five luck ducks back on there in a hurry. And I'm sure they made an adjustment on Darrell's car, too, when he made that pit stop. He had lost the lead draft. Here's Meanwhile, Mark Martin, who had taken over the lead, I believe, Bob. Yes, he had, indeed. Jerry Punch will call this stop as the previous leader now comes in for a stop. 30-year-old Mark Martin, the Mitchell, Arkansas driver, brings the Strolite forward to a halt. They go pumping that right side jack and will change right side tires. Real important to get him back on the racetrack as quickly as possible. One can of fuel tossed across the wall. Second can of Unical gasoline going in. 11 cars a leader. That is Terry Labonte trying to get Martin down the weight. 16.3 in second. He smokes the tires in a down pit road. Gentlemen. The Jack Roush owned Strolite for Thunderbird moves back out onto the racetrack with Mark Martin behind the wheel. And now, with all the pit stops having been made, or most of them having been made, it's the number 11 car of Terry Labonte. That leads, but he has not made a stop. Now he is. He's pitting Terry Labonte, one of the last to bring his car in for the second routine pit stop. Jerry Punch will call this as the Junior Johnson crew goes to work. They go to the right side of the car. Pete Wright will slam that jack beneath the car. They're pumping. Mike Hale and the crew now changing right side tires. Tim Brewer, the Budweiser crew, trying to get those tires on the Junior Johnson car. Jeff Bodai now moving down pit road. He has changed tires, been back in for an unscheduled stop. Fuel in the car, they push it down pit road. 14.3 seconds, Terry Levani is away. We're seeing pit stops in the neighborhood of 14 to 16 seconds. And by the way, Jeff Bodine was in for a second time. But now, Terry Labonte out on the racetrack once again as the lead will go back now to Davey Allison with everybody having completed their second required pit stop of the afternoon. Davey Allison from nearby Bessemer, Hueytown, Alabama has the lead in the Winston 500. We'll be back in just a moment. 